On today's episode, we're taking a look at Topaz Video Enhance AI. This is a new update, version 2.3.0. Let's check it out. This is a first look. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, this is a first look at Video Enhance AI. I'm not a big video guy, and I don't know everything there is to know about this program, but I'm going to look at it from a uh, rookie standpoint here. I'm going to see how easy it is to use and show it to you. We're going to take this first look together. So stay tuned. By the way, before we get started, I just want you to know it is on sale right now. No, it's normally $299.99. You get a $60 savings. Plus, if you use my uh, promo code David Kelly at checkout, and I provide an affiliate link in the description below this video, you'll save an additional 15% off. Uh, rather than getting a $60 savings, you get a $96 savings, and you end up paying $203.99 for it. Now, the sale runs up till July 16th. And when you purchase uh, this product using my uh, affiliate link, I make a small commission and it helps me to keep these videos coming your way. And I really appreciate that whenever you do that. So I want to thank you in advance for all those who purchase any products off my affiliate link. Thank you. I'll be working on this video today. It's a 1920 by 1080 uh, video. HD video, it's 29.97 frames per second. I'll let you see my test results. Uh, so what I'm going to do is provide you with a link to my Google Drive where you can download the original Pexels video that I got from Pexels.com as well as my upsized version using Video Enhance AI. You can go to that uh, drive and you can download these two videos and check it out yourself and also take that original video that I worked with and make a test yourself and see what kind of results you get. Now remember, this is not an in-depth tutorial tutorial and I am a rookie with this piece of software so I want to see how I can get along with it and hopefully you'll find out that it's pretty easy to use. Now if you look at the interface here it's very similar to like Gigapixel or Denoise AI or Sharpen AI so if you're used to those programs this will be pretty easy for you to like catch on to right away. And we have our typical zoom where we can zoom to different sizes here. We can adjust the slider to zoom as well. We can view our video in a uh, single view, split view, side by side view, comparison view just like in Gigapixel and uh, Denoise and Sharpen AI. And then we have some presets up here. I'm not going to get into presets today, but there's presets there, and you can save your own presets. Uh, and then we have, this is what I'm going to work with today, Suggested. We have a section called Suggested, and we have a section called All. When you're in All, you have all these different AI models here. And a lot of these, I don't even know what they mean, but if you hover over these different names, you see these windows pop up, and they give you some explanation of what that particular model does. But we're going to bypass that today, and we're going to go right to Suggested, because it's going to give us less things that we have to think about. We'll start at the top and work our way down. Now, video quality, you have a choice, low, medium, or high. And if you read here, it'll tell you, like, if you have high or low, in this case, it's low, low quality, your input, your input video is poor quality. In other words, if you're starting out with a poor quality video, you'd use this. Now, this video looks pretty good right out of the gate. So I would say it's a high quality. And if I hover over high, it says your input video has a high resolution with few artifacts. Yes, and I would say that is a choice or the correct choice. So I'm going to click high. So that that is solved. I got that done. Step number one. Now, step number two, not so easy. I know this is not a computer generated video. Uh, was it interface interlace scanned interlace video renders alternating rows of two images on one frame and is common on older video and television sources. So I'm going to say probably not. I'm going to say this is probably from a more modern camera. I'm going to say progressive would be the way to go. So I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. And all you video experts out there, let me know. Am I, am I choosing the right choice here? Because I'm not sure, but I think I'm right. Progressive would be the way to go here. So I'm choosing progressive there. Now we have video uh, artifact type. Now we can click this drop down here. And then we can hover over these guys and it'll tell us some information. For instance, high compression. High compression is usually present on low resolution videos. This doesn't seem like a low res resolution video, so I'm going to disregard that one. It's not noisy. I've zoomed into it. There's not much noise. It's pretty sharp. Uh, there's no motion jitter or choppy frame rates to it. It looks really good. So I'm going to say none. AI should preserve 
and enhanced detail. So I'm going to choose none for this one. So, so far, so good. I have three steps taken care of. And now we come to this section here. See where it says Artemis High Quality. And if I click this drop down, we have three choices here. Artemis High Quality. I don't really know what that is. Uh, if I hover over it, it tells me upscale or sharpen high quality input video, reducing motion flicker. Well, that sounds good. And remember, these are the suggestions it's suggesting for me. And Proteus 6 parameter, upscale video with multiple parameters for fine tuning. Parameters include compression, reversion, uh, detail recovery, sharpening, noise reduction, dehaloing, and anti-aliasing, deblurring. And it recommends that I use the comparison view when trying out the model to hone in on the best results. And we can disable tooltips if we don't want to see tooltips, but I'm a newbie, remember, so I need these tooltips, so I'm definitely not disabling them. They are my friend right now. All right, then, so these are our three suggestions right here from uh, Video Enhanced AI. And then what we have to do is click this compare button. And when we do, we're going to see a comparison view come up on the screen. We have four different panes on this window here. The original, we have the one model Artemis High Quality. We have the Proteus 6 parameter, and we have the Gaia high quality. So these are the suggestions for us. We need to render out these previews, and we'll do that in a second. But let's look underneath this section here. We have sizing. We have to determine what size we want to upsize this video to, or keep it the same size. We have sizing to this drop-down menu. Right now, it's set for 4K ultra high def, which is what I want, actually. But if you click this drop-down, you have a bunch of different choices in here. But I'm going to choose the 4K UHD for my um, testing here today. And then you can choose if you want to add grain to the video. So if you say, like, if you have a video and you got rid of a lot of noise and it might look a little plasticky, you might want to add a little bit of grain for that. Not a lot, but a little But In this case, we're probably not going to touch that. We'll leave that alone. And then we have to pick a video format to output it to. And let's click this drop down. Now we have a bunch of different choices. You can even render out just um, snaps of different parts of the video, like images. And I have another video that I did a while ago on a previous version of Video Enhanced AI where I actually do that. And it's in my uh, YouTube archive. Okay, so it's in there somewhere. If I remember, I'll link it at the end of this uh, video. But we're going to pick uh, the output, how we want to output it. In my case, I'm going to output it. I think this is going to be a good one in the MOV ProRes 422 high quality fast. So I'm going to choose that one right there. But next up, we're going to take a look at the, uh, the preview rendering, and I'll show you how to do that. Oh, and by the way, I don't think I mentioned this yet. You can use Video Enhance AI as a batch processor. In other words, you can batch out a bunch of different images at different settings or the same settings, whatever you need. So it's a really great uh, batch processor as well. And now we're ready to render the preview. Now notice here, my timeline is near the end here. You need 30 seconds or I'm sorry, 30 frames to process, to render out. And we're near the edge here. We may not have enough here. So I'm just going to take this timeline and drag it over to the center somewhere just to assure myself I have 30 frames. All right. And now all we need to do is click on preview. It'll generate those uh, previews. And then we could study the three that Video Enhances picked for us and pick the one which is right. So let me go ahead and click preview. I'm going to go ahead and let this run. And when it's done, I'll come back and uh, tell you how long it took. And I am back. And that took about a minute and 55 seconds to render out those three clips at 30 frames per clip. And now we can take a look. Uh, Artemis high quality is up here in the upper right corner. And the bottom left corner is the Proteus 6 parameter. And the Gaia high quality in the bottom right corner. Now we can take a look at all three. And right now for my eye, I think the Proteus is a little bit off. Now we could probably adjust it and make it look better. But I'm not going to spend the time on that one. Because I think the Gaia looks the best to me. Now we can zoom in even closer here if we want to. Let's really zoom in. And then we have the little hand tool we can move here. And I'm just using my mouse to zoom in. You know, I'm just pulling in with my mouse. And if you look at the, the original up in the upper left-hand corner, see the aliasing around the glasses? You see none over here. And all the detail looks clear. The textures in the face look really nice. They look a little less textured over on here. So I think the Gaia high quality looks the best. So remember that one. And now all we really need to do is uh, close out these uh, previews and we'll just come here and click on close 
Now all we need to do is start our processing. And this is very important here. And this threw me. I made a couple mistakes here. And I would I would have thought if you would click on Gaia High Quality, because remember, that's what the preview told us looked the best. So if I click on Gaia High Quality, notice something right here. See, it's in blue here. But if I come over here to where it says recommended and click on the drop down menu, Artemis High Quality has a little dot beside it, meaning it's going to process it with Artemis High Quality, and I don't want that. So this is kind of important. Maybe Topaz will change this on a future update. You know, when you click on, on one of these uh, models and you change it to this blue color, meaning that's the one you want, it should change over here. So for now, I got to click on Gaia High Quality, and you can see now that that's the one I've picked. So now, when I hit Start Processing, it's going to go ahead and render it out in that Gaia High Quality. And I'm going to go ahead and process it out. I'll let you know how long it how long it took. Remember, this is a nine second clip. And by the way, let me just show you here. I'm going to give you the specs of my computer, so it'll give you something to gauge your computing experience by. You know, you could compare yours to mine. I mean, they're all going to be different because all computers are created not equally. So they'll all be a little bit different. But this gives you something to reference to. Now, all I need to do now is click on Start Processing. I'll do that, and it's going to take it a while to process. When it's done, I'll get right back with you, and I'll let you know how long it took, how many seconds per frame. Well, I am back. Now, it took 660 seconds divided by 264 frames. It took 2.5 seconds per frame. So that was pretty quick, you know, considering it has to render out one frame at a time. So 2.5 seconds per frame. Well, there it is, everyone. And don't forget, it's on sale right now for $239. You'll save an additional 15% off of that price when you use my promo code, David Kelly. Click on my affiliate link in the uh, description below. Use David Kelly at the checkout and save an additional 15% off. Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, this first look video, um, Give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.